Hey guys, what's up? I'm Michelle from Sydney, Australia, and you're watching Fun for Louis. So I'm up, and me and my friend Matt are going to get some food and pick up his car and do various things this morning, and I'm, I'm pretty cold. Do you ever get cold when you first wake up? And you, your body hasn't adjusted yet on, on that. It's been a nice morning and a nice lunch and catch up with Matt. He's now driven me up to Battersea where I've arrived to my double-decker bus. For those of you who don't know, this is my double-decker bus and for years now I've been parking it right by Battersea Power Station but they have said they are going to be developing and they need me to move it permanently. I cannot park it here anymore so I'm now moving it to a new location and the bus hasn't driven properly in almost a year now so we could have some problems. So for starters, my battery's dead. So I've had to put on my generator and I'm gonna jump start my batteries from my generator. Another concern I have is that the radiator is completely empty. There's a bit of a water leak. So I'm gonna uh, fill up the radiator with the water I do have. Now I play the waiting game as the batteries charge up. My bus is such a state. I don't even want to show you guys around. Like, literally, from when me and Maz and Sam were in it last year, we just left. We left to America. We left the bus. It's still like we haven't even cleared up from a, almost a year ago now. And there's like mice have broken in. There's like, look, see this. This is from mice. When I get back from Australia, I'm. It's, a, it's going to be a fresh start for the buses. It's going to be a new era. It's going to be exciting. Well, I've been sitting here for about 45 minutes trying to charge my batteries and they're still not charged. And now the generator which I've been charging them off has run out of fuel. Now I'm trying to see if I've got any spare fuel around. If not, it could be a little bit screwed. All right, here's a little update. I, uh, there's another bus park next to mine which is my friend Andy, it's a charity project he runs, and I've had to go back to the security gate, get his keys, and I'm gonna try and jumpstart the battery with his bus, and hopefully that works. Guys, things are not going well. It's, it's been another hour or so, I still can't get my bus started, and I need to move it today because I'm going to Australia tomorrow, there's no other option. And um, I'm really struggling, I'm really struggling. Well, I think the battery's uh, dead or something. There's all this like blue crusty stuff around them. So I've got some other batteries I'm gonna try and put in, but they're not quite the right size. I've now resorted to finding a replacement battery for my multimeter. Now this reads electrical currents and I'm gonna hook out to the batteries and see which one's broken. Guys, I got the bus started, it worked. This very elaborate plan worked. Are we ready for the smoke? This is gonna get crazy. But it's all done, I'm ready to roll. That took a lot longer than I anticipated and hoped. But hopefully uh, I can get the bus to its new home now. Goodbye, darling. Oh. I'm now at a petrol station. I've got my spare can to fill up the generator to try and charge the batteries up because my alternator's not working. And I need to wait for this coach to move so I can park in. And one thing I have noticed, which is a bit annoying, is I am actually leaking water where my radiator's got that leak. Mm -hmm. 
So I'm about five minutes into the trip and I've had my first breakdown. Basically the, the batteries have run flat already because the alternator is not working. This is probably just gibberish to a lot of you but the thing that charges the batteries hasn't been working on my bus so usually I use my generator to charge them. But my generator stopped working and I don't really know what's wrong with it so my only option really is to try to fix the generator and hopefully we can get it all working again. I spent about 20 minutes looking for an adapter for my drill to open up the generator. I eventually had to do it by hand and uh, now I'm trying to figure out what's gone wrong, which wires come loose, anything like that. This is my only option to get my bus um, batteries charged again, is to get the generator working. So if this doesn't work, I'm screwed, horridly screwed. Well, it's been about five hours now since I started trying to move the bus and it's really getting to me now. I I don't really know what to do and I've had I've got so much I was supposed to do today before Australia and I've been able to do nothing. Okay update is my dad's arrived to help out the situation and we've been here before. We decided the best thing to do is bite the bullet, get a tow truck out. It's going to cost like 220 quid to tow it tonight, um, but they can't come out for like two hours, so I'm going to run home, get a few other things sorted. I haven't even uploaded my vlog yet, and then uh, come back and get it, get it done. Right, I'm back home for a little bit. My dad's cooked me some pasta. I'm plugging away, getting some of my vlog done, and trying to pack. Tow trucks here. It's balancing that, look. <laughs> that is incredible. If that, if that slips, if that slips. <laughs> so the tow guy had to take this out of here, um, otherwise, you can't tow it. So my dad and me are back in the car and the tow truck is following us to where we're moving the bus to and hopefully it's all going to go okay. Well she made it, she made it and she seems intact. Right, the bus is here at its new home for the next few months until I get back from Australia and figure something out to do with it. Oh, that was a bit of an ordeal, to be honest. Did not enjoy that. Well, that was not the most enjoyable of days, but I've survived, I've survived, and I'm still feeling positive about tomorrow and heading off, and... Oh, it's, I'm just glad it's all over. Buses can be a nightmare. If you're ever planning on buying a double-decker bus, a lot of maintenance, lots of aggro. Right, I am probably going to stay up, um, but I'm going to sign off here and catch you guys tomorrow. I'm going to be flying to Australia. Pretty much tomorrow's vlog will be me on the plane all day. But, um, yeah, I'll see you then. <laughs> Peace out, enjoy life, and live the adventure. Boom.